Hi there guys, in this week's episode, I'm going to finish this hole off, ready for a gearbox to fit in it. Ooh. Right, well before we do any of that, we need to get rid of the brake master cylinder, we need to get rid of all the cables that are coming out the bulkhead, uh, and we need to get the bulkhead ready for painting. So we're going to crack on with that first. We'll start with the uh, brake master cylinder. As I mentioned in a previous video, the master cylinder I want to get rid of, uh, and I'm going to fit one with a master cylinder from a Mark I non-ABS Mondeo. Obviously, with me going from like 50 horsepower to like about 150 horsepower, obviously I need to in make the brakes better. So that's what I'm going to do. So I'm going to get rid of the brake. Uh, master cylinder. Uh, I'll probably be taking the bracket off because I think I need to reuse the bracket. Uh, probably give it a blast and then I uh, give it a sand blast and then powder coat it. I've already got rid of the steering rack, but I want to give all the parts to that a quick clean. And anything that needs painting will get powder coated, uh, ready to go back in again. Um, so hopefully in about the next week or so, I should have the engine bay ready for paint, and that's what I'm hoping to. But right now. Right, I won't bore you too much by me undoing all the bolts, but the ones that you've just seen me undo is that one there, and its partner is somewhere, is up there, just there. Uh, and then the ones that you haven't seen me undo, they're the ones here, and they're nuts from the other side, they're bolts from the other side, so they're nuts on this side there. So it's that one there, and it's the one underneath there as well. You'll see the hole there, which is the where the uh, rod comes through from the servo and that goes into this hole here and at the end of that so it's this pin here that goes through from this side so you basically just have to push it out once you push that out the whole master cylinder will come out of the way now as you can see here there are a few holes so the clutch cable came out of there and went around what's called the ratchet and pole here and it clips into the front of the ratchet here. So basically you just pull it out, bend it around, and it'll, go, and it'll fall straight out of that hole there. The other hole that's up there, that is for the bonnet catch. We have um, two more holes up there. One of them is for the speedo cable, and the other one is there is for the choke cable. And then we've got one finally down there, which is for the steering rack column. Um, and that fits basically on these two pins here. So basically you pull it off this way, turn it around and it'll drop out back through that hole again and you can pull it all out from here. So that will be showing on the outside. So that's definitely getting a powder coat. And over on that side, you can see the entire wiring loom that came out the engine bay. I basically just pushed it straight back through on this side of the engine bay so that I can push it back through again later. Um, so that's everything removed from the engine bay bulkhead that I need to get rid of I think. Right so that's everything from the bulkhead that I want to get rid of. Uh, I've still got the brake pipes there and the fuel line there. They're not really in the way. That brake pipe that goes to the other brake there to the other front brake that has to be got rid of. Um, but all the rest of the parts they're not really in the way and I can just fold them down and they won't matter when I paint it. The heater matrix is still there. I'm not going to get rid of all of the dashboard to get rid of that. I will just mask that off. So what's left to do on this now is mask up all of these holes that are here now from the inside, give the bottom half of here a good clean, rub it down with the little red emery cloth that I've got that you can see just there, and then once all that's had a nice rough down, all it really needs then is a coat of primer. 
um, and hopefully that will be done as I've said sometime next week right let's crack on with the hole for the gearbox then I know a lot of people say taking a welder to a grinder is the sign of a bad welder but that's not quite how I want to do things um, I want this to look like this is the way the uh, uh, the Ford gods designed a Mark 1 ZTEC Fiesta from the factory about 15 years before the ZTEC engine was made but you get what I mean uh, I want it to look as natural as possible so therefore I want it to look like it did when it came out of the factory or at least how it should have looked when it came out of the factory so with some of this under sealer attached on here and a bit of seam sealer on this edge here it's going to look as standard as it can be for having a different engine in it that it was fitted with from the factory but i think you know what i mean as for the inside here um as you can see i've drawn a line around it um i don't want this inside edge to be as big as the outside edge and that's because it's going to be quite visible in here so i do want to trim this down that's what i'm going to do now just trim it down and then i'll weld it once it's in place but i really want this to look nice and neat on especially on the inside because that's where most people are gonna when they open the bonnet that's where they're gonna look there's not a lot of people are gonna look under the wheel arch from the outside so this side i want to get looking a lot neater than the outside so we're gonna chop these bits off now Right, so I think you'll agree that that is going to look quite nice with a coat of paint on it and it's going to look fairly natural. It doesn't look like there's an edge, it doesn't look like it was kind of added on afterwards. Um, so I think that'd be quite nice, that edge. So I'm quite happy with that. So we'll just get a little tiny coat of filler on top of that and a quick grind off it and that'll be about done, I think. Right, so after a quick coat of filler, I think you'll agree that that looks ready for some paint. It looks really nice, really natural, and I don't think it's going to stick out too much. Um, so I'm really, really happy with how that, especially the inside, turned out. So as you can see, that part of the bonnet that I talked about last week, that has now been filled and sanded. A little bit more filling or sanding there. This part of the bonnet is pretty much done now. Um, may need quite just a little tiny coat of filler on there but I think it's pretty much done on there I don't need to worry about it too much um, the thing I'm really pleased to see is that the outside of the bonnet didn't get distorted through sanding so I'm really really happy to see that I have taken the lights and the grill away now um, so it's all ready for pretty much masking off and getting ready for paint so once that bulkhead has had a nice sand uh, I can start putting down some primer in here and I think I'll just cover the most, most of that metal up the bare metal like there for example with a coat of grey primer um, and then these edges have tied it up all nice and neatly so I'm quite happy with them uh, and that's about it I think right so that's about it for this video like I say I've got a little bit of sanding left to do on here and on the bulkhead and then i'm pretty much done i think um so if you like what you see and you want to see this car in paint hopefully next week press that subscribe button and um yeah we'll see you in the next video thanks a lot and bye bye